Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody, wherever you are in the world. I'm Mark, welcome to my channel. I'm going to tell you some of the things that I absolutely love about being vegan, because being vegan is bloody great. By the end of this video, you're going to have a complete appreciation of how amazing being a vegan is. I've been vegan for six years, so I kind of feel like I'm more than qualified to uh, talk on the subject. If you're somebody who suffers with skin problems, you might want to consider becoming a vegan. Very simple reason is animal products cause the body to produce more mucus. We know for a scientific fact that mucus is one of the main causes of acne and breakouts and pimples. Excess mucus in the body, more acne, more pimples, more breakouts. It's not just, you know, a joke thing that teenagers get. Acne can be really, really um, soul destroying and, and debilitating for people. So. If you have those problems, you might want to consider veganism because getting rid of meat and dairy, particularly dairy, dairy really, really ramps up the amount of mucus that the body produces. So get dairy out of your diet, get meat out of your diet, eat more vegetables, drink more water, have a whole food plant based diet and you will certainly see much less skin problems. The other reason why a vegan diet will improve the condition of your skin is because a lot of the vegetables that you eat, particularly the dark leafy green vegetables, contain collagen. For any of you who are using face products and are concerned about your skin, particularly the ladies I would say, although more and more men are becoming more educated about this thing, you will know that collagen is an incredibly important part of keeping your skin looking young. As you get older, the collagen in your skin depletes and begins to dissipate. And so the less collagen you have, the more wrinkles, the more fine lines you will get. Leafy green vegetables are packed with collagen, a fantastic source of collagen. And the, obviously the more collagen that you consume, the better your skin's gonna be. You can buy incredibly expensive collagen supplements to add, uh, what is it they say, elasticity to your skin. Start a vegan diet and you'll get all the collagen you need from your leafy green vegetables. You can also take collagen in supplements if you wish to. So, for instance, wheatgrass and spirulina, two green uh, supplements, incredibly high in collagen. Huge levels of collagen in spirulina. So that's the road you want to go down. down, you certainly can, but you know, getting rid of the meat and dairy, getting rid of the mucus and the pus and, and all that stuff is going to improve your skin. And the more leafy greens you eat in your vegan diet, the more collagen you're going to be putting in. So you should reduce the signs of aging and wrinkles. Another reason why I love being vegan, and this is actually contrary to many of the mainstream media outlets who will tell you the complete opposite, but being vegan massively reduces your shopping bills. The foods that I buy are literally the cheapest foods in the world. You pulses, cereals, rice, noodles, potatoes, pasta, uh, TVP, soy mints, you know, that kind of stuff. All of these things that you are buying are so much cheaper than, than filling your trolley with meat and, and cow's milk and all that kind of rubbish. You add to that kind of stuff with your seasonings and your flavorings and your spices and your herbs. Those, those that I've just mentioned, they're the things that my entire diet is based around. And then I add the spices and the flavorings and stuff like that. Yes, it's very easy to spend a lot more on a vegan diet, but that's because foods that are specifically advertised and targeted for vegans tend to be much more expensive. And that's because it's kind of like a vegan tax. They know that they can market a certain vegan product and put it in the vegan or non-dairy section or whatever. And they know that they can bump the price up because they say, wow, it's vegan. There's also another uh, genuine reason why vegan foods are a bit more expensive. And that's because still to this day, even though the situation has improved, veganism is still a small percentage of the population and therefore the amount of those foods that the manufacturers produce are still relatively small. If you've got a factory producing, you know, 10,000 cartons of dairy milk based yogurt, you can produce that at a very cheap rate. If you've got a factory that's only producing a tenth of that because it's a vegan product, then obviously the, the, the smaller your production, the more the costs. All of the things that I listed 
my staple foods. They're the cheapest foods in the world. My food bill is so small now and I eat a hell of a lot more food than I've ever done. So vegan diet, another reason to love it. It's incredibly cheap. You learn to cook much more when you're a vegan. I used to cook a very, very, very small amount uh, before I turned vegan and gave up meat and dairy. Now I cook every single day and I love cooking. I love um, new recipes, discovering new recipes. I'm on YouTube all the time watching vegan recipe videos and I've learned to cook and I've gone from pre being pretty lousy, kind of a meat eater who would cook a tray of oven chips and a couple of beef burgers to now making fantastic vegan meals with dozens of ingredients. I think the reason that you learn to cook, or certainly the reason I learned to cook, is because when you first turn vegan, it can be a little bit confusing when you're in the supermarket and you're looking at all of the ingredients on the products. So if you're actually cooking your own meal from scratch, you know exactly what you're putting into it. You know everything's vegan and cooking is one of the best things that I've discovered since going vegan without a shadow of a doubt. You can live your life with a pretty clear conscience when you turn vegan. You are no longer paying people to torture and degrade and humiliate and murder animals in the most disgusting, horrific and reprehensible ways possible. If you've seen any of the footage that's out there of slaughterhouses, you'll know you'll know just how horrific it is. And when you become vegan, you can sit there and say, my money is not paying people to do that to animals. I'm not paying people to snatch baby sheep away from their mothers, hang them upside down on a, on a conveyor belt and rip their throats open with a knife. That's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling when, you, when you're vegan. You're not paying farmers to do those terrible things. Farmers, despite again what the mainstream media tv shows show you farmers people who farm animals for meat are not good decent people in my opinion this is just my opinion i think people who farm animals are, are dangerous sociopaths i don't want to put any money into the pockets of people who wake up in the morning and spend their days doing horrifically cruel things to animals i want to live my life in a way that I can limit the pain and suffering that I cause. All you can do as a vegan is do your very best to limit that. And I have complete power over the money in my pocket. And I don't want a pound or a penny of the money in my pocket to pay people to do horrifically cruel things to animals. So go vegan and you feel really, really good about that because your conscience is clear. Your conscience is also clear because you are massively reducing your strain on the planet. Animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change. It's one of the reasons why more and more people are getting sick and dying because their environments are beginning to crumble. Deforestation. Look at, look at recently, uh, a few months ago, everybody was crying about how the Amazon was being burnt to the ground. And it's like, what the hell are you talking about? It's being burnt to the ground for you because you demand meat, cheap meat. That's why the Amazon was being burnt, because people need meat. They were burning the Amazon to create land to graze cattle. That's why it's being burnt. Veganism, you can start to live with a clearer conscience, and it's a strange feeling, but you it's not something you don't walk around all day going, ah, oh, my conscience is clear, I'm wonderful. But there is like an inner, I hate using this term because it sounds a little bit new age and a bit hippy dippy, but there is, a sort of more inner peace inside of you when you when you walk past um, a field of cows or a field of baby sheep and you know that you are not responsible for any of the suffering that those animals um, might undergo for me personally there's lots of reasons to go vegan but for me the big one is I love animals I don't care how big or small the animal is I don't care if it's a cute fluffy little puppy that you can you can stroke and it'll lay on your lap or if it's a you know ugly scabby looking bat hanging from a you know hanging from the eaves under your house i don't care they're all animals they all deserve to live they deserve to live without us coming along and and using our arrogance to say well 
you are not allowed to live because I don't want you to because I want to spend 10 minutes enjoying your the taste of your body. So go vegan, feel better about yourself, have that inner peace because it's bloody marvellous, it's fantastic. Another reason why I love to go vegan and this is a really great one for me. This is something that I wasn't expecting because I hadn't read about this before I went vegan. I experienced a massive massive boost in energy. I felt so good and I had so much energy and I can honestly hand on my heart say and I wouldn't say this if it wasn't true. I've been vegan for six years and that six years I've had more energy over that six years than any time in my life. I'm 43 years old. I go out and I ride my bike and I walk 12 miles along the canal at the weekends and I run. I climb hills on my bike. I'm 43. I have more energy now at the age of 43 than I did when I was 21, 22. And that's, that's, it's not an exaggeration. That's the absolute truth. I've got so much more energy. Get home from work now. And yeah, I'm a bit tired because it's a tiring job, but my energy levels are soon up and I'm very active. I'm more active at the age of 43 than I was at 21. So there's a very simple physiological reason why you have more energy as a vegan. And that's because, as I alluded to earlier in the video, meat and dairy product products produce mucus in the body. The other thing that you may or may not know is that um, animal products don't contain any fiber in them. When you swallow those animal products, your digestive system has to work over time, like 10 times harder to break those animal products down and push them through your colon. What happens is the digestive system takes energy from all around your body, muscles, brain function, all this stuff. Your, your body is, is constant energy. And when your digestive system needs more energy to process dairy and meat, it takes energy from everywhere else. And so you end up with less energy. And everybody watching this video will ex instinctively know that that's true because what happens when you were a meat eater and you had a big heavy meal? You would get away from the table, you'd sit down, you'd feel full and you'd get tired, right? That's because you're eating all this meat and all this sludge and your body has to work hard to break it down. It can't push it through. So it takes energy from everywhere else. When you're a vegan, you're not eating any of that stuff. Everything you eat is plants. Plants are full of fiber. So everything you swallow is just broken down nice and easily. Your digestive system uses less energy than it does for meat and dairy. And so the rest of your body is full of energy. And, and for me, one of the absolute best things about being vegan is the energy boost. And that's because I don't eat dead animals. If you're already vegan and you're watching this video, tell me, let me know in the comments section, what do you love about being vegan? Is it any of the things, the topics that I've covered in this video, or is it something else? Let me know what you love about being vegan. Please like this video or dislike it if you didn't like it. Please share it on your, your social media platform. Please click on the card in the top right hand corner. There'll be suggestions for other videos. Please come across and follow me on Instagram. My account name there is veganmark underscore o1. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.